and we're back with Let's Play Alan Wake! So, Sarah's kind of a dick by locking us out of the town hall. Um, there was a room that I kinda didn't check and it it annoyed me. I'm pretty sure I might have missed a page. Maybe? Maybe not. Trust no one in the dark. I cannot trust you, Sarah! I cannot! You locked me out! You're clearly evil! Clearly a witch! Ah! Damn! That surprised me! Wow! Come on, go down! Oh balls! Reload, reload, reload! There we go! And I probably missed. Terrific. I can't shoot for shit! Alright, let's go. Come on! And no goodies here. But there's light! Light! Sweet! Life sustaining light! Thank you! Oh, shut up! showed up all the shooting in the air is idiotic one of these days they'll kill somebody and over deer fest i know go back to bed he's got a point wait look this town can't take this this town can't take it i can't take it the sooner you can all get back to life as usual i hope you're right come on let me get this door open so like, i can't take it you got the keys to the I've all, almost been murdered it's several times sure. a girl needs to get around god damn Let's see. Banging books. Used books. Um, architecture, fiction, all sorts of stuff. Oh, they're read. really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. Okay. Alex Casey books by Alan Wake, modern master of crime fiction. Alex Casey, what I can't forget, return to sender. The things I want, the fall of Casey and the sudden stop. All in stock. $20 per book. $100 for the full set. Mr. Wake is in town. See if you can't get them out to graft. Okay. Um, didn't I say something about not wanting to have anything to do with anyone ever in this town? Or at least I want to, um, you know, just get away and not have to deal with people. Well, on vacation, so yeah. A whole bookstore. A whole bookstore. <laughs> they have a manuscript page. Yay! Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. Hey. Uh, Clarence. Buy three, pay for two, audiobooks, weekly rentals, and used books. Okay. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Yeah. So Cynthia might not be as crazy as we think. Well, she is definitely crazy, but she knows what is going on and knows how to fend off the dark presence. Oh, loot. Flare gun. Thank you. Flare gun ammo. Thank you even more. I love the flare gun. And I have 16 flares. Sweet. Well, let's get going. Ooh, how scary. It's kind of rolling. Rolling down. Oh, where are you going? Damn, you got far. I wonder you didn't hit, hit anything or anything. Hmm. Ooh. Is it physical? Physicsy. Physicsy? Can I? Oh, I can put it down. Can put, can I? I can walk on it! Whee! Cynthia! No, not Cynthia. Sarah! 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 Come here! I want to play on the seesaw! Woohoo! Oh, this is amazing! Aw. Boink. 
Boink. Boink. Heh. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I can't... How does this make sense? How? I stand on it and walk and push it there by spinning it while on it. Oh. Oh. Where am I? Who am I? I'm okay, Sarah. Let's go. Well, at least that wasn't, you know... Ooh. Locked. Uh, yeah. Because I have nothing left for it. Five shots, that's not much. Is there somewhere I can get more? Kinda want more. Five is not much ammunition. Please? Please? Please! More ammunition. Ammo, please. Yay! Not enough. It's only four shots. Any ammunition in here? No, but a manuscript page. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns. And a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. What? Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. What? Barry threw himself into the role. First off, barrel of crowbars? A crowbar sold in barrels? Can I get a firkin of barrel? <laughs> firkin of barrel? Firkin of uh, crowbars? Please? I don't know. And secondly, Barry, the hero? Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. Barry is the hero. That'll be the day. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. But I don't think it'll happen. Church events. Fall schedule. Sunday school, Bible study, Bright Falls Knitting Club meetings, alternating Wednesday evenings, DFS Candle Night, DFS Morning Service, the Presbyterian Choir of Watery Wizard. What's that? Sounds wet. Annual charity bake sale. Uh, cozy, cherry. Cherry, cheerio. Cheers. Cozy at least. Um, yeah, we're outside. I'm gonna give Pastor Jeez. Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Could you just shoot the lock in? Please. No? Okay. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Now I guess we have to fight him. Right? Get over here! Ow, ow. Ow. There we go. Oh, I'm low on health. I don't like that. Not one bit. Okay. Good to know. I'll try to remember. Oh, it's the fast one. That's a lot of them. Did I get any? Hopefully. Oh, I think I got some. A good question. Sounds like there's one more. There we go. Where is he? There. Oh, there's two. There we go. One more. Come on. Stop that. Stop. Stop running. Stand still. There we go. Stop. Stop. Couldn't you just come over here and try and attack me or something? Or oh, stand still like that. That would also be good. That is acceptable. Batteries! No problem. Everything's good. So, could you just shoot your okay, way in or something? Let's go, wake. Oh, so it just happened to unlock this time. Yeah, I see. That makes sense. Wow. Ooh, cozy. That sounds well, it's tradition. Bernie Deathy. Like a really bad idea, you know? 
especially when they're unobserved and there's no one around. The whole place might burn down to the ground. Just, just saying. Well, let's take a look at the sermon. For it to be free, the dark presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Okay, well now we know why it made those shadowy people think. We're almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. How yeah, the it got no so many of the them. Turn out to be a bad idea. That is a good question. I have no idea how it got so many of the you know random citizens to go after me and how it can keep finding more that looks exactly alike. Just yeah, I'm, I might have killed the entire city already. No, right oh, shut up! It, that's our line. No, because we actually have a sheriff in the party. In the party? In the group. Sorry, I was thinking D and D right there. Just a little D and D, D and D, D and D ish. Ah, you know what I mean. And down he goes. Wonderful. Great. Is there anything down here worth taking from the church? Nope. So we're not stealing from the church. Not even the wine. Which they have a lot of. Wouldn't imagine that a church would need that much wine to... Whoop! Woo! Um, well... Well done, Barry? Yeah, I like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What the fuck are you wearing? What are the Christmas lights for? Yeah. Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires? Garlic. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking hmm. lot and up the hill. Come on. Well, clearly it works. No sense in arguing that. But yeah, why would the church need that much wine? I, mean, I know they have commu communion, but... Do they really need that much wine for that? I, I don't know. Maybe. But it just seems a little excessive to me. Uh. Well, up the stairs we go. The Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite um, place in the entire world. Yeah, could I have some of those? Effect? It's like a superpower. Ooh. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. Awesome! Can I have one too? I wish I didn't say that. Why? Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Yeah, I want a flaming eye of Mordor too. Bastard. Asshole. Hmm. Still, um, perhaps you have some more of those flare guns. I, I could use some more. I mean, there was an entire crate, right? Can't have used them all on that one shot. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Um... Okay, just um, hang on, Alice, I think is the best thing for me to say right now. Just hang on. I'll be there soon, my sweet, my sweet darling one. Some offense. Take. Yep, don't need any help. Don't worry about me. I'm perfectly fine. Well, this can only end up in an ambush. Kind of like that, yeah? Yeah, kind of like that. But, uh... But, but... Oh! That was a close one! How the hell did you survive? 
How are you still living? And he should die now. Yes, told ya. Yeah, just give it some time. I'm kind of getting used to it. And it's no big deal. Just murdering a few people here and there, here and there, and such and such. You actually get used to it surprisingly quickly. And then I wonder, what are these canisters? I mean, they explode like flashbangs. So, flashbang canisters? Really odd. And I can't really see what use there are for them, but uh, I don't know, what do I know? Ooh, light. Not sure what for, but light. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, am I the only one who senses that there might be something about to go down? Just, yeah. Uh, just a hunch. Just a feeling. Okay. Oh. Shit. Could you please stop with those bright flashes? Flashes. Um. I I really do not appreciate them. Oh, hello. Boop. Ow. Uh, flare. Oh, I have this one. This one. That should do. See, perfect, perfect weapon for these kind of situations. Are there any flashbangs? Ah, wonderful. Ooh, fancy. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, that was actually pretty bad aim. You have shitty aim, you know that? Like really bad aim. You should feel ashamed, weird darkness tornado thing. Uh, let's see if we can't gather them a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Something like that. Ouch, just shoot out. Thank you. That wasn't so hard, was it? Ouch! Damn, I should, I should try to stay alive. You should tell them to try to stay alive. I'm murdering these son of a bitches in droves! I mean, they don't stand a chance. I am amazing! Ooh. You know, your aim still sucks, donkey dick. Really need to work on it. Okay. Wonderful. Fantastic. Eat grenade. Eat more grenade. And um are we about done? Hello, w what are you doing? Are you okay? Do you need a flare or something? Yeah, I'll give you one. Here you go. Well that was a disappointment. I'll try again. Dude. Dude, where are you going? Yeah. Boom. Like that. So, are we about ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw pick up flashbangs. Your aim is still terrible. Oh my god, it's really shitty. Oh, right, the flare can't go that far. It can! Ah. Weird. Didn't do, uh, do so before. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you not using your lantern and your flare gun or your rifle or something instead?
this town goodbye. Why wouldn't I be right? I mean, it was the Andersons who told us about her. You know, the lady of the light, gone crazy with the night. It's how we reshape our destinies, Barry. Reshape our destinies! You had the song! The song written by crazy people drinking muddy water from the clearly evil dark waters of Cauldron Lake. But now I'm murdering dudes left and right like a real man. Some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no, just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease Dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. Nobody's ever said that before. That's uh, actually constructive criticism. I could, uh, Alan, you could use that for something. For something. You could learn from that. Make your next book better. If you ever write here. after this, I'll this is that is. Just get me there, Sheriff. Oh, crows! Crows are bad. Told you so. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh shit! Then you have no ankles, Al. They have broken. Okay, that was a pretty cool shot. Gotta give you that. Right. At least we have our gun and our lantern. Everything will be all right. Or we could just have a normal Mac light. Where the fuck's my lantern? Asshole! Ow! Go away! Bloody birds. That's a lot of birds, man. Damn. And they just flee or what? Or oh, are they coming back? They're coming back. No, they're fleeing. Hello? Come on. Either come or go. Decide. There we go. Sort of. Right. Let's get a move on. The darkness wears her face. Okay. And that can't get up because of that. The darkness controls the Tegan. I know that too. And you don't even have your gun, Al. Do you have anything? Something about no. Chain for the door to open. <sighs> Al, can... When we think about how many jackets you're wearing, why can't you just put some weapons into your pockets and keep holding on to them? And why is there a crate full of ammunition in here? Seriously, that's a strange thing to have at your workspace. I mean, is it normal in America that uh, your boss just orders a crate of revolver ammunition? Yeah, I need this crate of ammunition. Don't ask me why. I need it. Boss, we, we, we don't really use guns here. Just shut the fuck up and give me the ammunition. I want a crate. I want it stashed in that house. Don't ask questions. Just do it. Or you're fired. Uh, okay, boss. Uh, whatever you say, boss. Oh, shit, boss. Fuck. Um, that's bad. Boss, we might have a problem. Whoop. Ouch. Ouch, I really could use a flashbang right now. Whoop. Well, that was actually lucky that the guy hit me. Otherwise, the big one would have hit me. <laughs> Ow, I'm stuck! Whoa, that was a close one. Good. And now you just go die. While I deal with these two. And you. And shoot. And all done. Good. Let's go start. Steal some more from the never-ending crate of ammunition! Which is here. Weird. I mean, seriously, do they even use... Revolvers at the transformer station? What would you use them for? I have no clue. Ooh, light. Heal! And... 
goodies and goodies and oh yeah, I've, I'm full on that. Ooh, more. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh my God, they really, li they really know how to stock me up again. If they would just not take it, that would be even better. But uh, jump and down here. Ooh, radio. And here's a new song from a band that. They always remind me of our local rock legends, the old gods. I couldn't tell you why. I guess it's just, you know, one of those things. Anyway, here's Poets of the Fall and their latest single, War. Oh, that's an awesome song. Actually, the reason that it reminds Pat is because it is the same band. It is the Poets of the Fall who made the, the Poet and Muse song and the... What was it called? The Child of Lights? Song that was uh, used on the the stage in fourth level. So, but yeah, they're actually a really good band. You should uh, totally go take a look at them or hear at them. Um, they just released a new album, Jealous Gods, with the the single days. Really, really good. Really solid. Oh, God damn it! Go down! Lie down! Sort off! Uh, you do! And you too! What the hell happened there? And you! Okay. Good, I'm gonna. Okay! I'm not dealing with that! Saw that! Nope! Ouch, ouch! So, no! Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys! Flare them! And run! Go for the light! Go for the light! <laughs> Whoop! Ow! I made it! Sweet! Haha! <laughs> awesome! Anyway, as said, Boats of the Fall, go have a listen. Um, there's a lot of songs you could go for. Either War, as you see there, or. But I had to find a way across. Days, or Brother than the Sun, Carnival of Rust, Lift, Locking Up the Sun. Really good songs, all of them. Really. So, yeah. No, I'm not, not getting paid to say that. I, I, I actually mean it. I really love that band. So. Too bad I can't go see them when they come to Hamburg. This year, not that it would matter. I mean, it's a pretty long travel to go to Germany from Denmark. So, well, not long, but yeah, just yeah, can't. Maybe some other year. Who knows? Let's see. Whoop! I should probably not touch that. It will probably kill me. Ooh, button! What does the button do? It gives me life! The button of life! Life and love! Wait, maybe not love, but life! Life! Whoa! Go away! Stop scaring me! Oh, you're a big guy. Yeah, you're not charging anyone, are you? <laughs> but where did the guy go? Oh well. Where did the big guy go? There you are. Whoa, there's two big guys! Yay! Just what I always wanted! Okay, I could sack the guy. That works too. I'm... Com I'm... Yeah, I'm fine with that. Totally fine. Totally okay. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since nope. the terrible days in the city. No, we don't. She hadn't wavered. No once. clue. As hard as it had been, she was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Okay, well, let's see if we can destroy the darkness and give her the rest she needs. And the rest she probably deserves, seeing as I mean, the, the page said that she's protecting the town for what? 70 years? I mean, oh, from the 70s? So that would be in... No, that would be for... Uh, from this game's creation... 
a good 30, 40 years, something like that. I'd still really prote uh, pre protective, really um, impressive. And it's a good thing. I mean, seems like a good person. So. Yay! Are you just gonna stand there? Oh, you're gonna get zapped. Yeah, you're gonna get zapped. At your own pace. Oh, that was a close one. Ouch. Stop that. Dude, stop that. Stop. Go away. Shut off. See? That's what happening. That's what I... I can't speak right now. That is what happens when you mess with the Al. The Alan. The Wake Master. Right, let's get this one down. Any goodies for us back here while we wait? Yep. So let's get up here. And push the button. Anything good? Nope. And a page! The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story. But the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Cool, so that's your plan. To leave the last page. Wait, does an ending really only have one page? You're gonna cram a lot of action down on one single page. You know that, Al? You gotta write even really small or come up with some... Honestly, kind of bad ending, probably. Anyway, what do I know about writing? This will be the end for this installment of Let's Play Alan Wake. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in Let's Play Alan Wake. Goodbye!